I've been waiting since week three to be able to wear my beautiful Trevor Simeon jersey, and I think this is the week. I mean, Zach's out with a concussion. Rodgers is on the roster, but he's not playing, so it's Simeon time. All right, we're here to, uh, of course, it's Thursday. I'm going to try to make this a little short show because I do plan on Saturday night trying to come to you with another live show like I did last Saturday night. Probably around 8 p.m., 9 p.m., somewhere around that time. You'll see it pop up on your YouTube. Join me, call in, leave comments, all that stuff. I had a blast last week doing it, which is why I plan on doing it again. But we're here on Thursday, every Thursday, and every reaction after a game time. Those are my bread and butter. You people, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I really do. Uh, You guys came out in full force for my reaction to that embarrassing loss against the Dolphins. And I I mean, look, the the Jets are at the lowest point that they could possibly be in a season that had such high hopes and highs at the start. You know, we started, I mean, God, the season couldn't have started any higher. It couldn't have. And then after losing Rodgers and then still winning that game against the Bills in that spectacular fashion, I mean, that felt so good. But the weirdest thing was is even at the time you knew we have Zach for the rest of the year. So I I can't, I don't think there, I will say this. This isn't the worst season of Jets football. I mean, those of us who lived through Rich Kotite, 3-13, and 1-15, and I mean, we know what bad football is, but like have many have pointed out, we knew those were going to be shit seasons. This season turned into shit when it was supposed to be a beautiful diamond. And that hurts a lot. But I will say that this season and that game in particular against the Bills is probably the most confusing yin-yang game. Like you couldn't have felt better at the end with how they won, but also the disappointment and the reality that set in after the game. One thing I do want to talk about is this whole Rodgers fiasco of him being put on the 54 or 53 man roster and everybody freaking out because uh, fullback Bauden was, was, was cut and everybody had like this conniption. Why? Nobody, no, 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 it doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. The jets are out. What is left to do? If, if Rodgers, our hall of fame quarterback wants to be practicing with the team and wants to stick with his team and show leadership to his team going into the next year or two. And I've always said before Roger said that, if you look at my comments section under my videos, I have always said, I look forward to another two seasons with Rogers. I knew it wasn't going to be one season. It's going to be two, assuming he's healthy, maybe three. So I'm excited for that. He should be on the 53. It's not a big deal. And then this morning, from what I read quickly on Twitter or X, by the way, follow me at Midnight Mike Show, spell M I D N I T E Mike Show on Twitter, on Instagram, and here. Subscribe below, comment below, give this video a thumbs up. These Thursday videos do not attract the attention that my reaction videos do. So if you're watching this and you enjoy my content, the best thing that you can do is just go down and hit the thumbs up button and, and comment so people see it. More people see it. But Rodgers absolutely should be on the 53-man roster. He's the leader of this team. He's the captain of the offense. Now, I don't have much to say. I mean, we're going into Suck Bowl 2023. The the worst defense in the league in the Washington Redskins against the worst offense in the league in the New York Jets. Who's going to bend? Who's going to break? Well, they're both going to bend. They're both going to break. This is going to be Suck Bowl 2023. I do not see an exciting game coming out of this. But once again, all the wrong predictions I made on the Jets Miami game, what if we come out with some sort of crazy barn burner? You know, maybe even if, it, even a, 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 I don't know, like a, you know, 20 something to 20 something game. Wow. At least it'd be exciting, right? I am so happy that Aaron Rodgers is not playing this year. If you've watched my videos before, you know I did not want him on this field this season. I don't want to risk it. That would be so Jets for to put him out there in a useless game and have him get hurt. I'm so happy that that is all over. Rodgers put it to bed. That is that. But we are here for my pick for the game. Like I said, I'm going to keep this short because Saturday night, 8 or 9 p.m., somewhere in there, uh, maybe I'll tweet it out, at Midnight Mike Show, M-I-D-N-I-T-E Mike Show, um, when it's starting. But we'll talk more then. My prediction for this game, Washington, ah, they suck. 
Washington, six. The Jets, who also suck, ten. There you go. Ten to six. Jets win in MetLife Stadium with Trevor Simeon taking the helm. And probably a bunch of other backups. I wouldn't be surprised if Brees Hall carries less. Uh, well, Garrett or Garrett Wilson might might he, he wants to get his stats up, but but Brees at this point, uh, he's had a rough time with the offensive line. I wouldn't be surprised to see Izzy out there more. Uh, maybe use Dalvin Cook since you, I, I don't see him on the team next year. He was a failure, and I believe he's only on a one year contract. But that's it. 10 to 6 Jets over the Washington. Oh, it's not the Redskins anymore. The Washington Commanders, or is Jake Asman and others the commies? I like that. Uh, yeah, that's it. I want to make this one short. I'll come to you Saturday night, hopefully with a live show. And then, of course, the reaction video. I will be here on Christmas Eve with a video reaction to Washington versus New York. I am Midnight Mike. I can't wait to see you next time.